This is Ian from In 30 Minutes Guides and the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. And today I'm gonna to be talking about how to create a simple chart from a CSV file using Google Sheets. And this is a method you, that works for both Windows and Mac OS and a Chromebook. If this video helps, please subscribe and like the video and let's get started. So this is actually a real project I'm doing for one of the other books that we publish in the In 30 Minutes series called Social Security in 30 Minutes. And in the old book, I had an example of a stock price from 2004 to 2019 showing the performance of a mutual fund. Basically what I wanna do is I wanna update this chart. I wanna create a new chart that goes all the way to 2024. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, where I got the data from, and how I converted it using Google Sheets. So let's go first to the source of my data, which is basically uh, Yahoo Finance. Yahoo Finance allows you to download data. So what I did is I set up Yahoo, Yahoo Finance to show the data for this mutual fund, and then I set the date to a custom date starting in 2000, uh, January 2004 to January 2024, then I click done, then I click download. What that did is it gave me a CSV file. So CSV files, you may have seen them before. Uh, basically they're used in Excel and finance programs. When I open it in Excel, it looks like this. And actually when I open it in Google Sheets, you'll see it will look very similar. However, I much prefer Google Sheets charting functions to Excel. So that's why I am doing it in Google Sheets. So I already have my data. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google Sheets. This is the original uh, spreadsheet that I gave to my designer like five years ago. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna basically re-import new data into this spreadsheet and then create a chart from that directly in Google Sheets. I'm not gonna contact my designer just yet. I just wanna get a basic chart. So. Uh, the, you can see at the bottom here, it says here's a historical data from 2019. So I'm just gonna create a new sheet. I'm gonna click the Add Sheet button in the lower left corner. By the way, this is in Google Chrome. I recommend using Google Sheets in Google Chrome because uh, Google basically designed its applications to work better in Google Chrome. So I'm logged into Google Chrome on my MacBook, but to be honest with you, if you did this on a Windows machine in Chrome or even on a Windows machine in Microsoft Edge, it would still look very similar. But I usually use Google Chrome, just for your reference. So what I've done is I'm going to create a new sheet. You can see it's called Sheet 1. I'm gonna move it to the very front of this, uh, of this file. I have to kind of monkey around with, the, with, that, with that. So you can see it's blank right here. Uh, I've also updated the title 2004 to 2024. So what I'm going to do then is I'm gonna to go to File, and then go to Import, and then it prompts you with this. Now I'm just going to drag it from my uh, file picker and basically drag it right into the upload area. So you can see it says Browse or Drag a File here. So I'm using a Windows machine, uh, sorry, Mac machine. If you were using a Windows machine, there, there's a very similar uh, program where you can just drag the file right in there, or you can just browse and find it. So you can see it's about a, a, a 309 kilobyte file, so it's kind of large. Now, this is important. It says import location, create new spreadsheet. I'm going to say replace data at the, at the selected cell, which is right up here in the, in the upper left corner. I'm going to keep this checked, convert text to numbers, dates, and formulas, because that will help me, and then separator type detect automatically. What separator type means is that this is a comma separated file. That means if I open up this uh, CSV in a text editor like this, you'll see lots of commas, right? So this is the raw data in the CSV file and there's no way that you could ever do much with this if you're just looking at it in a text file. But once I bring it into Google Sheets, it'll look more organized. So I'm gonna click Import Data, and there it is. Now, I do a couple things right away when I get a big, a big uh, helping of CSV data in a, in a spreadsheet program like this, because I don't need all of it. Basically, all I need is the date as well as the close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these rows. I don't need them. And by the way, if I want to recreate this, it's relatively simple to do that. Um, I can also undo my changes. So I'm gonna delete these columns. I'm gonna delete the adjusted close in the volume, because I don't need that data. Delete those columns. So basically what I'm left with is just the date and the close. That's all the information I need to recreate a chart just like this. Okay, the other thing that I do is I basically mark these as a, um, 
I'm going to freeze this row. And the reason why I do that is once I freeze the row, the top row like that, when I scroll down, you can see the headers remain where they are, but it just the, the numbers change. Okay, so now I have a lot of data. Let's see how far down this goes. Probably thousands. Yeah, there's thousands of cells here. It goes to 20. It goes to uh, all the way to today's date, which has a null. So I'm going to get rid of that last row, actually, because the null value won't show up. And there's one other thing I want to do here. The, date, the uh, closing price is not actually formatted as dollars. I don't believe it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the whole row and then format it as, uh, let's see here, currency, this currency, okay? And then this, I'm just going to make sure that this is formatted also as a date. So I, I'm selecting num format number and then Let's just do date and see if it likes it. Okay, it likes it. All right, so now we have all this information and I want to turn it into a chart. So I'm going to select both columns. Basically what I'm doing is I'm holding on, the, I'm selecting the first column just by clicking on the A button, the A column header, and then use, and holding on the shift button and then uh, using the right arrow button. So that's selected. That's selected all the data here. Like if I go down to row 4,000, you'll see it's all selected. And then here's the, where the magic happens. Here is the insert chart button on the toolbar. If you do not see this on the toolbar, make sure that your toolbar is visible. Uh, you may need to do some customization as well. So I'm gonna just click insert chart. Now this is a lot of data, but you can see it basically instantly created a very detailed chart with all these data points. Um, maybe too many data points, to be honest with you. And at this point, what I can do is I can start to, I can start to do things like, for instance, um, change the title of the, or the header of this chart. I can change the colors and things like that. Like it says line colors blue. I can change that to, let's say, uh, red, which is not showing up because I think that's the outline color. Uh, the, the close. It's not letting me do it. Anyways, there's all these, oh, there it is. So I just had to click off of it. So you can see, I can make all kinds of customizations. And this is why I really like the uh, Google Sheets chart editor, but that's basically how to do it. So I might go through and make some more customizations. For instance, I do want uh, 2024 to show up at the end here. Um, it just can't show up because it, these are on five-year increments, but there's more customizations to do, but that's the basics of it. And uh, if this video helped, please take a moment to like it or subscribe on YouTube.